love bugs. Today I have a Mac haul for you and I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to do a dedicated video on the Mac wash and dry collection. I really liked the packaging. I really liked the look of the products, but it seemed like when I was like Googling the hashtag or looking up swatches and stuff, people weren't like thrilled with the collection and I mentioned on Twitter that I was picking it up and so many of you guys were like I cannot wait to see your video on it so what I decided to do was do my haul today and then on Wednesday I'm going to be putting up a chatty get ready with me on how I did this look and how I use these products so you can kind of get my first impressions um, see how they go on the face I am wearing almost all aside from one of the products that I bought so yes, I'm really excited to show you guys what I picked up. I know we kind of have like a basic boring background today, but this is the best for natural light and I really wanted to get true to color swatches for you guys, so I apologize for that. The first product I picked up is the Matte Bronzer. This is their bronzing powder in the shade Matte Bronze. They also have this in Refined Golden, but I picked that up um, in last year's collection, so I didn't need that, but I really wanted this. I used this to contour today. I figured that it was a bit too dark to do um, just like all over bronzing with. Here is the packaging. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the packaging for this collection personally. And here is the color. So it's just kind of a slightly deeper warm toned bronzer. And I really, really love the color, but I feel like a lot of people who were swatching it were like, okay, this isn't that good. It applies much better with a brush. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say like when you see it on the hand, you're not seeing virtually any color payoff, but it's super pigmented with a brush and it blended really easily. Easily. Personally, I love this and I think it made a great contour shade. It was super easy to blend. It wasn't too dark, um, but I also feel like it can really be deepened up and I just think it's super versatile. This is a permanent product as well. This is just like limited edition packaging and I wanted to try this anyways. So yes, I love the box as well. I tend to keep these boxes just in case I resell anything and if like I decide I don't like it that much. Um, and I also just think that they're so, so, so beautiful. This product sold out fastest on the website, and this is the shade Freshen Up, and this is their highlighting powder. Um, this was gone in a matter of like 15 minutes right after the collection released. Here is the powder, and when I first got it, it had a golden um, like spray over it. You can still kind of see it on this darkest shade. All I used was this lighter color on the tops of the cheekbones and down the nose and stuff for a highlight today. I do think it's really beautiful, but I haven't really played with the other colors. So what I'm actually going to do for this one is swatch each color individually and then give you a swatch of the highlight all mixed together. And you're not really going to be able to see these separately on the hands, but here's the lightest color, here's the middle shade, here's that coral, and then I will do a quick swatch of the whole palette mixed. And here is what that looks like, just like a very light super glowy coral color, truly. I really like this. I think it's super versatile. I will be wearing it both as a highlight using this shade alone and then as a blush with all of the colors mixed together. I think it's really pretty. I think it's great for summer. The actual texture of this is really nice and I just like the powder a lot. Um, and again, the packaging on this one is, ugh, God, I love this packaging. It just reminds me of like seahorses. I don't know why. I picked up one last cheek product from this collection and it is the Blush in Hipness. And I do have this on the cheeks today. So between the highlight and the bronzer, kind of got the Neapolitan thing going on, if you will. This is just a very like bright, corally pink blush. And I feel like it's picking up very cool tone and very, there you go. It was picking up kind of cool on camera, but it's truly like a coral peach color. It's very bright, but honestly, once you swatch it, it's not too pigmented. Um, and not in a bad way where it's like, oh my god, I'm dipping my brush in here like 10 or 11 times to even get any color payoff. It's just really natural on the cheeks, and I really like the um, color payoff of this. I really like the formula of this. I think that it blends really well, and it has a gorgeous glow to it on its own that you will definitely see in the Get Ready With Me. It's just a beautiful, beautiful product, and I really, really, really like it. I can see myself wearing this a lot in the summer, and I don't really have anything like this anywhere else in my collection. I know that I'm describing it as like a peachy, pinky, corally blush and you're like, okay, well there's a million of that. But there's something really unique about this in the sense that it's number one, not overly shimmery. Number two, it's not overly pigmented and it just blends well. So I think I'll be getting a lot of wear out of that. I got two lip products from this collection and one additional lippy I'll just show you from their regular line. This is the shade Steam Heat and this is a satin. They also had one called Creme de Nude that I think is 
permanent that I was looking at as well and then they had morange morange which is also permanent but this was the most unique color in my opinion that was limited edition seam heat is like a true tomato red color and I just think it's really unique in the sense that yes it is like a truly opaque red it has a tiny bit of gloss to it but it's so warm without having a strong orange undertone I do own some warm red colors that are beautiful don't get me wrong but this one really doesn't have much orange to it it's just a warm red and I think it's very flattering especially for summer um, so I'm wearing that today without really any lip liner underneath I have a clear one just to prevent feathering throughout the day but yeah it's beautiful it's super pigmented it feels quite hydrating on the lips um, and I just think that it's pretty it's not overly glossy it's kind of just a perfect red the final product from wash and dry that I picked up is this lip gloss and I got this in the shade domestic diva and I just really 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 like this shade I didn't love it on the site I was just kind of like okay well that's kind of like a bright pink gloss whatever um, but I saw it on temptalia on her like bare lips and it looked so pretty on her I really like the packaging on this but I am a little bit concerned that it already looks Looks sort of separated in the tube um, I don't really know what that's about this is just a really beautiful like bright 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 pink it is a little bit on the sheer side though you know it's not like a liquid lipstick um, consistency which means you can really play with this and I think that like really sheer neon colors are beautiful in summer whether it's blush or lipstick or lip gloss or whatever um, and this is just like no exception I also think it could truly be built up let's see if what happens if I do a second pass you could also lay it layer it rather um, over lipsticks but it really can be built up and it's a beautiful color so domestic diva lip gloss and that is all that I got from wash and dry and I have to say I am truly impressed there was not a single dud that I feel like I got in this entire haul there's a time and a place for super what bam in your face highly pigmented products and they did this well with a really pigmented lipstick but with like a neon blush that wasn't like so pigmented that it was unusable you know what I mean or with the bronzer I just think that they really paired products that went well together I love the look that I came up with using these and I'm really impressed this is one of the best collections I've seen from them in a while I love the packaging I love the color selection um, I'm just I'm impressed so the final product that I have to show you is just a um, lipstick from their basic line and this is in peach stock and this is a satin lipstick I actually like now that I'm like looking at this and thinking through this in my mind I don't remember who picked this up that I was like okay well now I really want that I feel like it was like pink sparkles but now I can't remember it's just a very like peachy nude color very dark peachy nude and I really like it there's not another lipstick like it in my collection I just think it's very unique so that is it for this haul and I hope you all enjoyed if you were not able to get anything online I believe it releases really 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 soon in stores if it's not already I'll have that information down below for you guys with all of these Mac limited edition collections I get comments out the wazoo saying how lucky I am and I know I wake up on the hour every hour the nights that these collections come out because I love to review them for you guys I love to do videos on them so I am really sorry if you guys couldn't get your hands on this but keep your eyes out for it in stores and maybe it'll pop up soon but I really hope you guys enjoyed again this get ready with me will be up super soon on my channel check in on Wednesday for that and yeah I hope you all had an amazing day and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already until next time my loves I will see you very very soon bye